Hello, what is up guys? Jack here to give you episode 21 of our squad builder series and today we are building a Mexican MLS kind of squad. It's kind of like a mixture hybrid kind of thing. Uh, it's got some skillers in it. Um, it'll be down to you what you really think of it. I'm not going to call it a hybrid. I'm not gonna, you just, you just uh, call it what you want. I don't mind. Um, so let's start off in the goal. We've got Romando here. Um, so he's uh, from. he plays for Real Salt Lake. And um, he is a United States player, so he is going to link with it, with the defenders. And if you know what um, most hybrids have that are from the United States, you know you'll know that I'm going to be using Wayne. Um, so he's just a rapid player. I don't really need to go into too much explanation with him. He's only um, five foot nine, though. That's kind of like his downfall is just his height. Um, so moving on to the next centre back, um, we have this guy here. So he is from MLS as well. Because he's Mexican, that enables me to start moving down the Mexican line down the right side now. Um, he's got 59 pace, uh, 65 uh, sprint speed, so it's not all that bad. Um, his passing is pretty good, as you can see, and his defending is good. He's, uh, he's six foot as well, but because he's quite slow, that is his weakness, obviously. But wine kind of makes up for that, um, so don't worry too much. You know, it's not. A, I'm not building this squad to be an amazing squad that wins every single game. It's just a, a squad that is fun to use because it's getting to that point in FIFA where it's just boring to use like these same me old teams so yeah but anyway moving on to the right back we've got this guy here uh, Navarro so this guy is from the Primera Div Mex uh, he plays for Tigers and he's 5 foot 6 so he's very small um, kind of like most Mexican players I find actually um, he's got 91 pace uh, 71 dribbling he's got a pretty decent shot um, he's just a very fast right back to be honest with you Nothing special, no special features about him. Um, so yeah, moving on to the left back, we have Castillo, who is a very, very low rated player, 65 rated. He's got 84 pace, I used him in a squad uh, recently for a squad build and I was quite impressed with him, so I thought we you know I might as well uh, use him here. And the main reason is because he plays in the Primera Div Mex, but he's also a United, he plays for the United States. Oh, oh he, his nationality is that. He can kind of link there with Wine and then bring in some more um, Mexican League players. So, moving up to the left mid, we have Beasley, who are also used with Castillo in another squad builder. Um, he's, not, he's got 93 pace, and that pace is... I'd, I'd say it's definitely 93 pace, maybe even a little bit more. He feels so, so quick. He just burns burns away the uh, defenders. And he, but he's only le he's left footed though, that's the problem. So you kind of feel like you want to cross the ball a lot when you do get into that space because he's left footed on the left side. But if you can cut in, do cut in because he's got a pretty strong foot. Uh, well, he's got a pretty strong uh, long shot, I find. I, I can get that dip with him. Um, but that's, uh, when people say that, I think it's just down to how, how used to the shot power of the player you are. Um, so yeah, moving on to the right mid, we're moving on to the right mid instead of. Uh, Cam or anything, something like that. So, right mid we have Dan Linho, so he's going to be our first five star skiller. By the way, Beasley is a three star skiller, I believe, maybe even two, so he's not very skillful at all. Um, he's got 89 pace, Dan Linho has. Um, he has 70 passing, 77 dribbling. Um, yeah, five star skills, so that's pretty much his selling point is his skills, um, but he's pretty quick as well. Um, and his shot is pretty decent, but because he has, because he's so quick and skillful, he you know he doesn't need to have a great shot because he he can get into the defence and closer to the goal than a normal player. Uh, moving on to the cam, we are going to have Martinez, and if you think I should play him somewhere else, just wait until you see how the, the rest of the squad um, comes around, and you'll you'll notice this is kind of like one of the only ways you can actually do that. If you've got any other um, suggestions, then leave it. In the comment section, but this guy's got 88 pace, four star skill. So another, I'd say he's a skiller because four star skill is definitely enough skills to do it. Uh, he's got 76 dribbling and 69 shooting. Um, but the main thing about him is he's he's pretty tall, which means he's very strong as well. I think he has like 85 strength or something combined with that 90 uh, sprint speed, um, which he does have. And then moving on to the next cam, we have. Mon, where is he? Moreno. Gonna sneeze? No, don't sneeze. Um, we, he's got 76 pace, 73 shooting, five star skills, 74 dribbling, and he's just a beast. I find his long shots are very, very good as well. Um, I've scored a couple of long shots in like single player though when I'm testing out the squad just to see what their skills are. 
and stuff like that. Like my first game I played with him uh, when I didn't have the fitness and I thought I'd play a game with him, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so I'd say his, his strong abilities are his 5 star skill, he's not exactly quick but he's not, he's not completely slow um, and his uh, dipping long shot I'd say. So yeah, moving on to the striker, I'm leaving that centre mid till last because he's like the guy that links everything up. Uh, we have Inform Benitez, so didn't manage to get him in my formation but I thought, you know, you can just imagine I did. <laughs> um, he has 4 star skills, uh, 93 pace, I think 95 sprint speed or something. Um, also, he's got 75 strength, which isn't bad for a, uh, a five foot six player. So he's very small, but he's actually quite strong. Um, so he can, you know, when you're you're running alongside a player and you do that kind of skip because you're too quick and too strong for the player trying to tackle you. That's what he does all the time. Uh, he's also got very good dribbling uh, abilities. So if he did want to use that LTRT ability, he's going to be very good at shifting the ball and shifting his um, pace. Um, which I don't do too much to be honest, especially he's got 4 star skills so I find I just do uh, scoop turns and roulettes and chops and all that kind of, you know, the basic stuff and occasionally a rainbow flick or something. But he's got 80, 80 heading as well with that 5 foot 6 uh, height so he's not bad in the air at crosses um, but he's definitely not like a 6 foot player that gets on it most of the time. Uh, and then the last player here is, he's not a centre mid because I couldn't get him in the centre mid. He's actually a centre forward but I managed to get him in a cam to make it a little bit more realistic is Montero so he links everyone up he is the main man and he is the, he was one of my favorite players in the squad builder if you saw it before I think it was like a, an MLS kind of squad or a, a, yeah a pretty similar kind of squad in terms of MLS American that kind of thing um, check it out in the squad builder playlist if you uh, don't know what I'm speaking about but it's got 79 pace 4 star skill but his shooting is outrageous he's very very good at shooting um, 70, 77 dribbling um, and he's just he's just one of those players that he seems like he has a lot of hidden stats he's just very good uh, at what he does and he's, he's very good in the middle as well as well as attacking um, but in terms of defense he's probably not the greatest so this team is very very attacking especially with all the pace um, down the sides and at the top um, yeah that's the squad builder I hope you enjoyed it guys um, the price of this team will be flashing along the bottom of the screen so if you uh, if you haven't noticed that, you will do now. And uh, the manager, as for the manager, you know, you can just work that out yourself. It's either American or Colombian or, you know, whatever you want, really. I'm not here to choose the manager for you. Uh, I only do that really with nationality team, just so you know which the best manager is to use. Um, and yeah, so overall, it seems good because they're all very, very low rated players. So you can get this team to a three, three and a half star, definitely, maybe even a three star team. Um, with the lowest bronze players on the bench if you wanted wanted to do that um, but yeah this has been uh, Ezekiel Gaming or Jack as you may know me and uh, please remember to hit that like button helps me out a great deal and also subscribe thank you for watching and I'll see you later bye